Good morning, ECC Attleboro, on this snowy day. I hope that wherever you are and whatever the weather is like in your area, that you are warm and safe and appreciating the beauty of God's creation. Today is Epiphany Sunday, a day when we remember and celebrate the light of Jesus Christ that is spreading throughout the world and is open, is available for all people everywhere. In the story of Jesus' birth, we know about the story of the Magi, the the wise men who came from the east, uh, bearing gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to bring to this newborn king to worship him, and how they followed a star. And so the star, this star of Bethlehem, and Jesus being the light of the world as he described himself, this is central to Epiphany, that he's got good news, light, that is available, available for everyone. And so this Sunday, we were going to pass out star words, uh, 80 distinct words from Scripture right out of the Bible that are printed onto star-shaped pieces of paper, and we will do that next week. And the purpose, as you may know, is to pay attention to this word. How is it used in the Bible? Uh, What does it mean? How do we use it in hymns and songs and prayers? How do we use it in daily life? And to pray for God to broaden this, to use this word in some way. It's not just about the word, but about God's presence. So I have done this for many years. Our church in Minnesota, we did this year after year. And here are a few of the words that I've received. Confidence. Faithfulness. Sincerity. awe, compassion, among others. And each year I've tucked it into my Bible. I've often written the scripture verses where it's used on the back of the word and just held on to it through the year, paying attention to it. In 2002, I received this word on Epiphany Sunday, quietness. And as I received this word, I thought, Hmm. I was basically kind of underwhelmed because I already have a lot of quiet in my life. Uh, Sid and I, without children at home, our home is often very quiet. We often are quiet with each other, even though we talk a lot with each other. Uh, When I paddle my kayak, it's quiet. Walking the woods has got some inherent quietness to it. Uh, when I work on a sermon or when I'm in prayer, it's quiet. So I thought, my, my life has an abundance of quiet. I'm not sure how God may use this word in a, in a new way. But as 2022 rolled by, I kept paying attention to it. And later in that year, I needed to have surgery. And part of the recovery from surgery was to be physically quiet for a long number of days. And initially that was fine because I didn't feel like moving around much. But after I began to feel a little bit a little bit better, I still had these strict doctor's orders about being physically quiet. And after a while, I got tired of watching shows. I didn't want any more screen time. My eyes were bleary from reading and you can only talk so much. Yet there I was, physically quiet, sitting on the couch or laying on the couch. And I felt myself being, found myself being drawn deeper and deeper into prayer. Uh, praying for others, bringing faces and names to mind, uh, praying through scripture, pulling up verses I remembered. And part of that, uh, how uh, quietness is used in the Bible is from Isaiah 30, verse 15. Here's how that reads. In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. And then it goes on, but you would have none of it. And I realized on that couch, after those days and days of physical quietness, that I wanted none of it, but that I needed it. And how I was growing with it. So I don't know. I don't know what words you or I may get uh, when we receive them next Sunday. 
Um, but I pray that God will not only use these words, but use each one of us and continue growing us in our our wonder and our love for Jesus Christ, and that we might be instruments in sharing his love with this world around us. So on this snowy day, friends, I hope that uh, God is speaking to you, that you sense God's closeness, uh, the wonder of Jesus Christ, and receive these words, these words of benediction as a blessing to hold on to this day and every day. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace now and forever. We go into this day in peace, friends, to serve the Lord. Amen. This is a very special place. A special place because God is here. This is a place where we can talk to God, where we can listen to God, and we can hear the stories of God. This is the time we celebrate the mystery that God came to us in Jesus the Christ the light for the whole world. Today we remember that the baby Jesus was presented to God in the temple. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Mary, the mother, and Joseph, the father, went to the temple in Jerusalem to present Jesus to God. Now, many, many years ago, God had promised to send a special child called the Christ. Year after year, people waited for this gift. They would go to the temple and ask God to send the promised Christ, who would set them free. Simeon was one of those who was waiting. God had said to Simeon, I promise you, that before you die, you will see the Christ. Then one day the Holy Spirit said to Simeon, go to the temple. When Simeon saw the baby, he knew that Jesus was the promised Christ. He held Jesus in his arms. And he thanked God, saying, Now you are letting me go in peace. My eyes have seen your salvation, a light for the whole world. Now there was a prophet named Anna. Anna never left the temple. She stayed there night and day and worshipped God, praying and fasting, waiting and waiting for the promised Christ. And now she was very old. When Anna saw the baby, she knew Jesus was the promised Christ. Thank you, God, she prayed. And Anna went to tell those who were waiting. The long-expected Christ is born. The promised Christ is here. Jesus the Christ has come. Jesus the Christ, the light for the whole world. Now I wonder 
how it feels to hold this baby. I wonder what Simeon was saying to the baby. I wonder how Simeon knows the baby is the Christ. I wonder how Mary feels about what Simeon said to God. I wonder how Anna feels when she looks at the baby. I wonder how Anna feels telling the people that the Christ has come. I wonder if the people will listen to Anna. See you. 
Church.